Hi guys, it's Unders. Just want to drop in with a really quick tip for you guys using Shaper Box and Time Shaper. If you're using it inside Logic, the way to automate between the different parameters down the bottom here so you can change the shape is a little bit awkward. If you try and select it and we do um, like touch or latch automation, it doesn't actually record. So what we need to do is drop down your automation bar. You activate this by pressing A. And in here, we need to grab the options for it. And the ones we're going to move down to is Shaper Box Time. And we get these here. We have Time High, Time Mid, Wave, and uh, High Wave. Now, the Wave ones are just these parameters here. So under the Stutter 1, Stutter 2, and the different uh, options we can get there. And you'll see I've managed to just automate a couple here. <laughs> And that's the way to get it working in Logic. It seems in FL Studio and Ableton, you're able to just click it and it then latches. I'm guessing it's something to do with the audio unit version. So at the moment, that's the way to get it automating inside Logic. Hope you enjoy, guys. Catch you soon. Bye.